हेलो नमस्कार आदाब सत्यकाल कस काय केडो हालाय केम छो वेलकम टू स्पॉटलाइट विथ आभा एंड आई एम योर होस्ट आभा जाधव अ ब्यूटीफुल वुमन विद अ ब्रेन इज एन एब्सोल्युटली अ लीगल कॉम्बिनेशन ब्यूटी विद ब्रेन्स ऑलवेज क्रिएट वंडर्स फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी हैव वन सच ब्यूटीफुल लेडी विद ब्रेन्स हु इज द विनर ऑफ मिसेस इंडिया 2018 Face of Swarovski 2020 and Hall of Fame Super Mom 2021 a humble soul living her extraordinary dreams with the belief that women are real alchemist of the society friends please help me welcome Dr Shraddha Kulkarni MD and CEO at Panaj the Transformation Academy Private Limited Pune Maharashtra welcome Dr Shraddha Thank you so much, Abha. Well, good evening, and thank you for that beautiful introduction and the energy and a smile on your face. That's contagious. Seriously. <laughs> thank you so much. But friends, let us know uh, a little more about Dr. Shadha Kulkarni before I take her to my question answer round. Inspirational Women Award winner, a passionate image consultant. and powerful image coach dr shraddha kulkarni has the life purpose of transforming lives by helping individuals and businesses by creating effective self brand her insight out approach to personal transformation makes her unique person dr shraddha is an award winning motivational speaker and management professor She has 14 years of rich experience in academics, coaching, training and consulting. Her expertise lies in business communication, organizational behavior, leadership development and HRM. She provides consulting in people management, image management, self branding and personal development along with organizational effectiveness. Her area of coaching is personal tra- transformation and image makeover. Dr Shraddha was crowned as Mrs India 2018 face of Swarovski 2020 and Super Mom 2021 Dr Shraddha has an inspirational journey from average to alpha she ser- she has served on senior position in education and training industry for a decade and a half along with being state president for WICCI Life Skills Council Maharashtra World Peace Ambassador at UPF Europe and Supermodel of International Repute. She has been working with several NGOs impacting the lives of underprivileged people. Her never say die attitude has won her many accolades such as Bharat Gaurav Puraskar, Best Management Professor Award, Super Achiever Award, Youth Icon Award, Inspiration Women Award and many more. she gives her 100% in whatever she takes up and that reflects in the outcomes dr shraddha is on mission to touch upon the lives of people and make a difference through her journey as an image transformation specialist she is india's first expressive image expert and works in the area of personal transformation for creating powerful image she serves as an alchemist for her clients to realize and develop the desired state of being and to position themselves as best personal brand this is really astonishing dr shraddha so <laughs> let me begin so let me begin with your belief statement why do you think that women are the real alchemists of the society All right uh, that's a lovely question abha i must say and uh, i strongly believe that yes women are the uh, alchemist in the society why because it all starts with them you know right from giving birth to a certain child you you go to any level you go to any field any cadre and you see that women whenever they are there they try and make a difference from whatever they are right they do not have to sometimes even put in extra efforts or do it intentionally naturally look at a mother look at a housewife or look at anybody who is actually putting on efforts you know she is so uh, you know she has those qualities of being compassionate 
being caring loving she is a leader and she can do anything right so that's why i tr- strongly believe that yes if a woman decides that okay i want to achieve this it is very uh, you know uh, determinant that she can definitely achieve that it is just that she should realize that okay i can do it and then nobody in the world can stop her and then we have so many examples of women who have been through you know very difficult situations toughest times and they still have been able to come out of that and not only come out of that but being stronger right and that is the example of how a woman can change the entire world if she decides to so many leaders women leader that we have as an example and she can do it effortlessly as i said you know she can be at home so if if you actually ask a man that okay you have to take care of your house and at the same time you have to take care of your office as well they'll find it very difficult to do manage both but women are doing it effortlessly as in they are when they come home from their office they are completely you know domestic engineers that's what the word i use for you know homemakers so they are domestic engineers they take care of their family like you know it's natural process and when they are at ho- office they at that time also they are completely into their engrossed into their world and they give their best to their uh, you know work as well so that's why i definitely believe that yes we all are you know alchemist of the world and look at the things that we are doing like how many uh, you know men are actually coming forward and doing something uh, the, doing such things as you are doing abha right you are actually making so many different women and different people come together and give them a voice and let their opinions their thought process reach out to so many people okay so yeah that definitely we are the alchemist Absolutely, I agree with you, Dr. Shraddha. Now, even I believe that yes, women are uh, alchemist of the society. Now, uh, as I have just uh, mentioned, that you have been a winner of Mrs. India, two thousand eighteen. So, kindly share your journey of entering to this contest of Mrs. India and winning the title. All right, wonderful. Uh, so yes, uh, before going for Mrs. India, I have always had that flavor of you know getting ready and presenting myself in a beautiful manner and click photograph, post it on social media. So all that was there, but I have never thought about all these things in a serious manner because. Uh, as you know that i was working with uh, you know uh, an education industry an industry wherein we don't generally even discuss about glamour or fashion and all those things right so you have to be intellectually very sound when you're working in an education industry and you have so many things on your platter right you have to do research you have to you know do your phd you have to attend uh, different courses and you have to develop yourself as a teacher right so in that process you know i have seen that i have been telling my students many at times that you know uh, even sky is not the limit and you have to keep on trying your limits and you have to push your boundaries and all so one day i was thinking that if at all you know i don't actually show come up as an example i don't set an example i have no right to just say few words right and then as you know that education and fashion industry are drastically different as i as i mentioned so you know at that time i have just gotten the, got this opportunity my sister in law has got connected and she said okay there is a competition like this and i think you you should participate in that competition so then i said okay let me try this and that was the moment i realized that okay i can actually set an example for people for women like me that you know if i can do it any one of you can do it all right there is no age limit there is no any kind of a background or criteria that you need to fulfill to become a you know a fashion icon right and that was the actually motivation that i've had that i wanted to set an example for all my students all my clients and everyone that if i can do it a simple person as you've mentioned a journey from average to alpha so i was just a lady or a woman next door and look at that if i have de- determined and put in efforts i could do it i could become mrs india so i'm sure it becomes an example of whoever wishes to achieve anything beyond their regular work a profile or beyond their regular life and if they decide that okay i want to try something else you know i want to go for something new something different altogether they can definitely do it because i have 
you know this is an example in front of you for that right so yeah that was my inspiration and that was my aspiration as well so how did your life change after winning this title <laughs> all right so well uh, i would say yes definitely life has changed after winning the title and i had a roller roller coaster ride i would say because you know since i was uh, living a very simple life before that i was having lot many friends and you know i was just like everyone else right so i was not having a different status altogether there, there was no any demarcation as such so and people were also you know they they used to understand that okay she's a professor she teaches the students and she has to as i said intellectually very sound and things like that but the moment i won this title you know i somehow people some of my friends some of the closest people of mine they have you know started keeping a distance from me they themselves have started feeling that okay she is a little different than us right now okay or maybe they have you know made their own mindset that now she has got an attitude she is going to brag about things so yeah i have experienced that and many people it would it took time for people to accept me that way and uh, you know the second challenge that i've had is many people have told me that it is not possible for you to be an educationist and a fashion icon at the same time because students when you know the look out of the students or the perspective of the students of looking at you would definitely change and they will not take you serious seriously as a professor as a teacher so again that was a challenge because you know when people say such things to you you also sometimes start you know giving serious thought to it right so these are these were few challenges which were in front of me but as i said i have a never say die attitude so i was determined that okay i am not going to let all these limiting beliefs affect what i am doing and the intention that i had was extremely extremely good right i never wanted to you know create that differentiation between me and other people i just wanted to prove the point and not to anybody else but for myself i just wanted to let my dreams come true i just wanted to push my boundaries and because of that then i have kept on doing my things and sometimes later then of course everybody has accepted me my students are rather find it as an inspirational story when i tell them that okay i am a mrs india and a professor you know professor as well so it is something that they are very you know happy about and second important thing is uh, because i am mrs india i have always been into uh, social initiatives i love to do social activities because that's how i have been raised all right uh so i always wanted to make a difference in the society but people were not taking me seriously earlier because you know i was just as i said just somebody else right but then since i have become mrs india it helped me a lot to you know reach out to more people or make a difference or you know convey by messages or communicate the message that i wanted to to a you know larger audience so that is how it actually made a difference in my life yeah i became more confident as well it was a confidence booster as well aur so yahan par ek hindi mein ek hi line karna chahungi ki aapke is jazbe ko hazaron salam actually uh, you know so women like you they set an example in front of other struggling women who has to face lot of opposition from the society so really hats off to your uh, efforts and the way you have come up and prove yourself and set an example in front of society okay now you are on a leadership position also at panash what are your core principles yeah. on leadership and handling the team wow all right uh, so since we have i have just began with this particular role and i have a team where we are working virtually we are not physically together yet and that becomes a little challenging because you know you have a team and if you are already working with them for years you already have that rapport set with them right but you have a new emerging team and then they are sitting somewhere else at a remote location and you have to control and you have to get things done from them you have to work as together as a team so that's quite challenging i must say that but you know uh, again i would say that leadership is something which is a natural process is what i feel if at all you really have that good intent and 
you really want to respect if you really respect people and want to make a difference want to help them out then leadership also becomes a little easier for us to manage right so the very first thing that i believe is the principle that i follow is respect others if you want to be treated in a certain manner you have to treat people in the same manner you should not have that you know a, a differentiation in your mind that okay i am the boss and the rest of rest of the people are working with me and they have you know obligation to me so that kind of uh, barrier is never there with when i am working with my team all right i always treat them just like me and then we have an open discussion we have disagreements and we discuss all those things very openly they have all their you know they they sometimes criticize me they sometimes give me a suggestion that you could have done this in a different manner so all that keeps on happening so that is one second important aspect as i said would be that you have to really really understand the potential of people because i am of the belief that everybody has the potential it, it is just that you have to make them realize sometime and sometimes they, they themselves have to realize it through your actions okay so yeah, that is the second principle that i keep on you know looking for the potential of the people who are working with me the positive side of them i have an you know understanding and acceptance of the fact that everybody is not the same people are not going to exactly work in the manner that i work and somewhere i have to accept that the third important aspect that i actually trust and believe is let them you know fly let them have their own understanding of doing things give them that liberty give them that freedom okay if you actually you know tie them up and say that okay this is the way my way or highway it actually doesn't work because you know if you give them the freedom they actually feel belongingness towards what they are doing so when they feel feel belongingness when they feel that okay this is something which i have to do i am accountable for it so they enjoy doing that activity and at the same time the very important principle that we set in our team is goal setting so every day we set one goal for ourselves and we ensure that by the end of the day we achieve that goal so you know otherwise we don't disturb each other we don't have a very strict revision or supervision kind of a thing a review kind of a thing but yes by the end of the day everybody has to be responsible and accountable for the that one goal that we have set for ourselves right so this is how you know i handle my responsibility as a leader wow this is really going to help many more upcoming leaders and those who are already working on the leadership position definitely it will be a little uh, more and an eye opener to them and i really like that goal setting you know every day that setting one goal thing in that way you are actually motivating your team to set goals not only for that one day in fact gradually they will learn to set goals for their lives also Correct. so that is really fantastic work you are doing so coming to just one step further to this what is your vision mission and purpose of life all right beautiful again i am loving the way you are asking questions abha i must say that you know you have been doing this task very uh, very exemplarily and i wish you all the best for this platform and i'm sure you will keep on flourishing so yes coming back to my purpose mission and uh, vision of life is i want to touch upon as many lives as possible okay that's the very purpose that i have and how do i do that because you know just saying by just by saying that i am going to make a difference or just by saying that i want to touch upon life that is not going to happen right you have to actually have some strategy so uh, this life purpose that i have is converted into a vision and mission the task that i have in hand panash is the very existence of panash is for you know helping people out professionally as well as in a social format right so whenever people come to me and they say that we want to you know develop ourselves but we don't have enough uh, economic backup for ourselves we help them out in our social initiatives and for those people who are working on a certain position and they lack maybe confidence maybe they have a lack of uh, self esteem or maybe they are not very happy with themselves and whenever they look into the mirror they don't say oh my god look at that 
i'm seeing the best person right so i want everybody to feel like that and that is how professionally as well i'm trying to help people to realize what kind of you know professional uh, potential that they have how they are unique and different than other people in the world and how that uniqueness can make them you know fly into the sky and how th- that can be actually understood and worked upon so that they become the best brand of themselves and again as i said every morning they get up and they look, look look into the mirror and say wow what a person i am okay so that's my purpose what a beautiful purpose of life and uh, i have just when i was going through your profile i have uh, just uh, read that you are also india's first expressive image expert yes. so tell us something about this what is this uh, you know expressive image expert thing sure definitely so uh, this is uh, i'm very thankful and grateful to my mentor my teacher judy drasband who is the head of consol image institute from usa and i have done this course from her which is about expressing yourself because everybody has a different style of expressing themselves right so for example if you are angry at home and you are cooking what do you do you actually bang on the you know at you tend to feel and let the people know that okay i'm angry with you right now right or sometimes you don't talk to people or you sometimes you just keep shut and then le- that is how you present yourself okay so similarly as in jokes apart but this is how we all have one certain kind of an expression which we are best at okay and it differs for person to person so again we have to understand exactly what is the best manner that we can express ourselves maybe it is a visual medium maybe it is the way we speak maybe it is the way we write things and then not only this but we can also like i may be very good in expressing myself through my oral you know speech right the way i speak but if at all i want to develop my skills in the written manner as well so i can still do that it just that we have to do a proper assessment and understand what is the best expression style that we have and then strengthen it and at the same time the other styles because like for example you are working as a principal in a school right so it is not only that you have to write good things or you know you have to get in touch with the parents but you also have to communicate your message through oral communication through non verbal communication as well as written communication right so at that time if we use this uh, expressive image technique for you you will become good at everything that you have and then at the same time you'll have one most prominent style of yours which you can use to you know express yourself in the best possible manner so your message your communication reaches to the sen- uh, receiver in the best possible manner so that is what we do in the express expressive image technique yeah very much interesting so definitely people must uh, learn uh, how to you know find out their own uh, powerful expression yes. so this brings to the end of our program uh, dr shraddha mm-hmm. i would like you to give a one strong message for the upcoming right. women leaders and the women who dream to participate in beauty pageants like you did and won the title all right thank you so much so you know uh, again i would say that all of us do have a fairy tale somewhere and we always feel that i'm a queen or i'm a princess isn't it so that's a true that's that's a true thing about all of us right we are unique we are different and not only those who want to participate in the pageantry industry fashion industry but otherwise also don't limit yourself based on the opinion of other people don't anybody tell you that okay you can't do it whenever people tell you that you can't do it actually take it as take it as a challenge and try and do it and prove it that yes you said that i can't do it but i can do it right and you're not doing it for others again as i said you have to prove it to yourself to gain that confidence to yourself so there's one thing that i always say is i know my worth and i won't settle for less and that is how i actually dream on so many things i feel that this is a very short life and there are too many things we can actually do right so again this actually goes for each and everybody each and every woman who want to do something in their life okay they must have a bucket list they must have a wish list and they must have some dreams right so they just have to you know take the first step because that's the most difficult part of it 
once you actually decide and determine that okay i want to do it nobody can stop you and there is nothing that you can actually not do okay life is limitless and everyone can achieve whatever they want to it just that you have to have that determination you have to understand realize what exactly what makes you happy and you just have to go for it so that's my message to everyone that is really motivating so women dear ladies what are you waiting for just develop that determination focus on what you want and start working on it and there will be a day when you will achieve the success you dreamt of right chada so thank you so much dr chada for sharing your valuable insights on this platform and also devoting your valuable time it was really a wonderful listening to you thank you so much pleasure was all mine thank you for inviting me here on this platform and all my best wishes to you and to you know make you realize your dream and achieve it sometime all the best thank you so much so friends if you wish to see other episodes of spotlight with abha do click to the playlist coming up on the screen do subscribe to my youtube channel for upcoming episodes of spotlight with abha I did. and yes and do press the bell icon right there with the subscription button so that you get immediate notification of my latest videos so this is abha jatha signing off now do take very good care of yourself and your family family members do wear mask maintain social distancing use sanitizers and keep washing your hands see you soon till then bye bye namaste jai hind jai hind <laughs>